Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as I promised, promised to you earlier, I was going to show you how to do the uh, mixed vegetable casserole before the end of the year. And I'm barely is making it. So I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead on and uh, that with it without any delay and get started in this uh, video, mixing it up and everything. And uh, before I, I started my, before I start my getting twisted up. First of all, I'm going to start off telling you what you're going to need um, for this mixed vegetable casserole. And it's absolutely de delicious. Okay, you're going to need two cans of the French style green beans. That's two cans of French style green beans and they're going to be, and they're going to, they got to be drained. And then you're going to need one can of uh, the shoe peg corn. If you can't find the shoe peg corn, just go ahead on and get a can of a white corn. I'm not going to give you the ounces because in a few minutes I'm going to show you why I'm not doing ounces anymore. Okay, you're going to need this little small jar, which I think is, is two ounces of the diced pimento. Or uh, either you can, it can be sliced. It really doesn't matter. And then you're going to need one can of the cream of celery soup. Cream of celery condensed soup. Okay, you also gonna need a half a cup of sour cream. That's a half a cup of sour cream. A half a cup of a uh, sharp cheddar, but if you prefer prefer a uh, mild cheddar, go right ahead. Okay, and this right here is a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Is I'm getting it up there good enough? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, you're going to also need a half a cup of uh, chopped onions, half a cup of chopped onions, and also, and also a half a cup of celery, diced celery. Okay, and this, you know, I told you with the squash casserole, I did the uh, uh, saltine crackers, excuse me, on this one I do the Ritz crackers. And you're probably going to need, I don't know if I'm quite going to use a half a stick of the um, butter, melted butter, and then crumble your uh, Ritz crackers up in it. That's for the top of it. And this uh, casserole is cooked on 350 for uh, 60 minutes. Now I got one thing I want to tell you, I'm going to try to tell you um, before I get started. And a lot of my subscribers will know exactly what I'm talking about because we, we had, we had come, uh, come in and replied back and forth about how they have changed the ounces and the sizes on a lot of different things that used to be, uh, we thought it was, like a, this size can used to come in a 16 ounces and now it's um, 14 ounces. So I don't even bother about giving a, a, a sizes and stuff on the can. <laughs> Might as well not. Because I tell them one size. And I had that to happen to me a uh, few years ago and I didn't realize I hadn't paid any attention to it because I just go in the grocery store and pick up what size can that I, you know, was assuming a 16 ounce can. And then I had gave someone a recipe and they told me, say, I couldn't find a 16 ounce can Oh, well, and I was and I was thinking to myself, you can't find a 16 ounce can in the 16 ounce cans in the store. But I didn't think nothing about that they had changed the uh, size on the cans. So it's been that the size has been changed a few years. We the ones of us that didn't know anything about it, the, the ones of us uh, uh, that's been sending comments, which I've been thoroughly enjoying. They were selling, you know, like hey, they don't they they uh, have noticed that they are. Uh, had changed the size and one lady took me so bad she said they they have changed the sizes like we wasn't gonna notice i was like exactly long as we've been cooking and everything we know what the sizes are supposed to be they change the sizes but not the price but this is what i want to try and show you guys and then i'm gonna pop off i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do before i show y'all this i'm a i got my strainer i'm gonna open these uh uh green beans and uh i'm pouring them in the um I'm pour them in the strainer and I think I put the corn and the um 
permit to open it needs to drain well so I'm gonna go ahead on and open that and put it in the uh, strainer and let it be draining and then when it get drained I'm gonna come on back and uh, show you how to mix up this dish but years ago probably about early 2000 I'm not really sure uh, I submitted uh, some recipes in a church cookbook they had asked me to submit uh, some of my recipes and um, so I went in and I got the book out to uh, check on make sure I had everything I needed to do even though I just I know what to put in the recipe but because I'm doing uh, the, the YouTube videos I try to be really cautious about it and then when I was reading in there I was say uh-huh it may not be proof for them, but it's proof for us, the ones that know that they had changed it. Can and now, like I said, I did this recipe in the early 2000s. My name is down here on it. I just took the the uh, recipe book is like a binder, and I just took the sheet out of the binder. And right here, plain as day, this shoot I had 12 ounces of the white shoe pad coin. Now let me see what that is now. Uh -uh. I'm going to sit it in the black pepper. The shoe pad corn. What's the ounces on this? Tuck, see, can you find the Keep ounces? Turning on, around. Tuck, find the ounces on there and tell me what it is. 11 ounces. 11 ounces. So they, they, they took an ounce from us. Okay. And I got um 16 ounce can of the uh french style green beans and this hold it up so i can see it and that's and now is 14 ounces 14.5 ounces 14.5 ounces okay let me tell you i unconsciously knew that something wasn't right but didn't didn't even think to pay attention to it i just thought that them can sizes would never change when I would fix my um, uh, mixed vegetable casserole, I would always use just use one can of the French style green beans. And then when I would mix, start mixing it up, I was like, mm, no, this thing just don't seem like enough green beans. Those ounces do make a difference. Let me tell you, they makes a difference. So, I, so what I did, not even thinking that they done changed the ounces on the can, I started just putting two cans. My original recipe in this book, if you see, it calls, I put, um, I think I put, well, I did put two on here. I put the two stock, two, uh, two cans of the, uh, French dry green beans. But, uh, I noticed that they had sort of cut down on them and it was not enough, uh, uh green beans in there for nothing. And now let me tell y'all something. If you hear me say snap beans, I try to, uh, say green beans or whatever. Uh, when when I first learned that word of the, the green beans, what we call green beans now, I learned it as snap beans. So if you hear me say snap beans, I'm talking about the uh, the green beans, regular green beans, if you hear me say that. Because I try to catch myself from doing that on the videos, and I go right ahead on and do it anyway. So when you hear me say snap beans, that's what I'm talking about, green beans. They always have called them snap beans. Snap beans and... uh. They would say flat beans or the pole beans. I ran because they grew on the pole. And said snap because we used to snap. We have to snap them and scrape them back then a long time ago. So, okay, you guys, I wanted to show you that. And like I say, I submitted my first name, Clara. I submitted this here, um, this uh, vegetable casserole years and years ago. Probably close to 20 years ago. Put it over here close enough for me to see it. Okay. A lot of you, a lot of you guys may not know my name is Clara, and uh, my middle name is May, but I always I took on Clara and dropped my um, dropped my middle name and I went in my maiden name, so that's what you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me go in and open my beans and uh, get my uh, mixing bowl, and I'll come on back and show you guys how easy it is to mix up this um, mixed vegetable casserole, and you will be. It's a treat. You're going to, you know, you'll love it. <laughs> I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And uh, 
Let's get ready to mix this up. You see how I just took the, uh, still draining just a little bit. I took the green beans, the corn, and that can of pimento. I put it all in this colander and just let it drain. Make sure you try to drain as much corn out of it as possible. Okay, gonna mix that over there. Then I'm gonna mix 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 this uh did I tell y'all a can of cream of celery? I can't remember saying that. Oh, it's gonna get old. It's a can of cream of celery. Do you remember me saying it, Gary? No, I don't think you do yet. I don't think I've told y'all a can of cream of celery. You may have, I don't know. I don't know, I was talking so much, I don't know. You know, I told you guys, I try to kind of mix in as I go. Now, if you'd like to pile everything in there at one time and mix it, that's, that's you know, that's, that's something. That's, that's just a personal preference. You can do that. It's not no big deal. But I always find out that stuff is just easier to mix when you kind of mix it a little as you go. Especially you beginner cooks. Now, you old season cook. <laughs> you know how to handle that. Okay, this is my half a cup of sour cream. Uh, let me tell you guys something about the, um, get this out of my fingers, look yucky. Uh, the um, onions and the celery. I increased that time on this recipe on the recipe and I think I had increased it by the time I put it in that um, cookbook because the uh, the original recipe that I whoever I got this from I, or wherever I got it from a magazine or whatever um, and then this uh, electric company we have um, they sent out uh, like your rural electric companies and stuff, they send out a little book every month and they normally have recipes in there. And I used to love they I used to love it because they had some good recipes in there. And then the same bank I used to use, they used to send a recipe every month in your bank statement where I had to play for the bank that I used to use 30 years ago. I don't know if they still do it or not because I don't use it. Okay. This is what I want to tell you with your onions, your half a cup of uh, onions and peppers. They used to then, with the time they was telling you to cook it, they really didn't get done enough for me. So I increased the time on it. And then when I don't want to increase the time, but first before I increase the time on it, and the reason I increased the time is because I put it in that cookbook. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my uh, half a cup of celery. I sauteed it. I used to saute it and I didn't want to, I said, well, ain't no sense in telling them to saute it. I just increased the cooking time on it. And so that's what I did. I went from that, uh, I think the original recipe, I'm not really sure. I believe it was about 40, 45 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and sprinkle that little that half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. See, like one makes like to make me sneeze a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my cheese. That's a half a cup of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar. Now, you guys, the way uh, I'm doing my videos now, 
I'm going up showing you, showing you all the ingredients. The first shot will be the of all the ingredients because you know I told you I, I told you guys that I don't put the uh, list of ingredients in the um, comment section. Now my daughter will see her live with me. I would do it, so you just have to review the video again and uh, and just you know get the uh, the uh, recipes down. See what's in there. Just jot them down. Okay, just mixing this up real good. Let me get my spatula. Is everybody ready for the uh, new year? Whether we read or not, it's going to come. Let's hope everybody make it over safely. And have a good year. I don't make New Year resolutions and stuff like that. Because I just be so glad that I would love the Lord uh, see, me through, see me through that next year. My prayer is always going to be trying to do the best that I can live the best that I can and treat everybody like I want to be treated. Just doing things that's right, that's pleasing in the Lord's eye. That's all I ask to do. Because I trust and believe he will provide. Okay. I put I put this in a you know I say ain't and all them kind of words. What <laughs> One young lady uh, was telling me some of the stuff that I had said. Okay, this this is a grease. I think this is a 13 by 9 uh, baking dish. I'm not really sure. They don't even put the sizes on these things like they used to. Okay, just put it in there and spread it out. I got it good. I got it uh, greased with some. Uh, Cooking spray, yeah, that's what it is. Cooking spray, but if you don't have no cooking spray, just take your little uh, cooking oil or olive oil or whatever you have. You guys know how to do it. Move this out the way. Okay, I'm just gonna spread it out in there. Evenly spread it out. I'm going to go back and try to wash out some of that that's getting up on the side. Because you know when you put it in that oven to bake, it always don't look too pretty pretty if it don't got on the <laughs> sides of your baking dish. sneeze in. Okay, this is that uh, um, one um, that one sleeve of Ritz crackers. When I shook it, it went all over the place, but I cleaned that up. And I'm just going to take this and, and with that uh, half stick of melted into the half stick of butter. I know you, I know you, uh, Older cooks know that, but I be saying this stuff as easy as I possibly can for the younger people that really, you know, don't have the experience in cooking. I really want to be a, a help to them as much as possible, keep it as simple, 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 as simple as possible. And you can always uh, drop me a comment or email if it's something that you don't understand. I'm not new at <laughs> I'm not new at cooking, but I'm sure I'm very new at this YouTube situation. <laughs> I 
I told my daughter, I said, why everybody be, I said, I show them what the views and stuff like that. Why they be saying, uh, um, asking me, uh, what, you know, I said, that's just uh, putting it in the description box, Madam Terry. She said, no, mama. She said, uh, I bring the people want to, I said, well, they got to realize us older people, we didn't cook a certain way and a lot of stuff is just be in our head and then go in there trying to write it down. This is the best way of, of anything. I mean, the best way of all is to just show us, just show you and watch us doing it. Okay, you guys. This is it. I got it in this baking dish. Can you see? I got that top part coated with that um that Ritz cracker chrome, with the Ritz cracker chrome. And all I'm fixing to do now is put it in that um I'll put it in the oven at uh 350 for 60 minutes and uh, maybe less. You know, once it get the bubbling and stuff, and I see it's not getting too brown, I may take it out five minutes or ten minutes ahead of time. But I'll let you know exactly when I come back. And uh, I'll be right back when this dish is finished. Okay, everybody. The uh, mixed vegetable casserole is ready. I just pulled it out the oven. And I wish you could smell how good it smells. So uh, I'm going to go ahead on and end this video. And uh, my normal spiel. Like it if you like this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button to be uh, notified and leave me a comment if you have any questions or uh, you can just tell me whether you had a mixed vegetable casserole or not and let me tell you this real quick while I was waiting for the uh, casserole to cook I um, went to my mailbox and I would that uh, rural electric uh, co-op book that I tell you I got a lot of recipes out of uh, and I think this particular recipe too, uh, either I got this one for the, from the bank. It's been so long ago I can't remember. But anyway, they said uh, the book came out for January and the theme is uh, soups. And they had a lot of interesting soup recipes in there. And there was one in particular I've never heard before and I think I'm going to try it. Once I test it and see, is it okay? I will share it with you guys. It was a piece of soup. I said, hmm, that sounds interesting. And I'll tell you another thing, I'm going to come back with you, I'm going to come back probably sometime next week before the kids go to school. I got another recipe that I want to share with you guys. And uh, it's real good with kids. Uh, the kids normally love it. It's like um, macaroni and cheese taco bake. I'm going to share that with you guys. I've, I ran across it while I was looking through my recipes and stuff. I got so many recipes, I said, oh, I forgot about this one. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share this with my subscriber. I believe they would enjoy this for the children and grandkids. Okay, I'm gonna move over here and serve you up. I got serve you guys up. Some of this here mixed vegetable casserole, and then I will see you guys in my next video. Can I get up in there? You got down here? I got you. Okay. This is a good casserole you got. You can't go wrong with it. My son, this is my son's favorite. But I had so much food cooked for, uh, we did our, let me turn some of it on on the back side so you can see what it looked like over there. He said, Mom, you ain't got to worry about it. Now Mario, I'm putting this uh, recipe. Oh, it's hot. I'm always messing with this stuff hot. Let me hold that sauce. Oh. See it. Get it where you guys can see it. Oh, and it smells delicious. It smells like a dressing. So, so um, this is the finished product of the mixed vegetable casserole. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.